something to show Same old places and faces of people with nowhere to go But we're not like them, we are better, both you and I know Grab your car keys and jacket, cause honey, we're ready to go Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is the before of our back patio area. And for the longest time, I have wanted to extend this and make it one big long rectangle with a fire pit and string lights. But the original plan was actually to get cement poured. And we started out calling around everybody in our area that sold cement. And they were all quoting us around $3,000, which was way out of our budget for this project. So I decided to do some research on how I could still extend this without cement. And the most popular option I saw was pea gravel. And I'm so glad that I found it because it was only $85 total for all of the pea gravel that we needed. And this entire project only cost us less than $300 if you don't count all of the plants that I potted. But I am still in shock that we got exactly what we envisioned for only $300. And this project took us a total of four days, but it really could have been done in one. We just had to keep running back and forth to Home Depot. But I'm so excited to be finally sharing this project with y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Give this video a thumbs up. That always really helps me out. And I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. I upload new videos every single week, but let's go ahead and get started. So far, all we've done is dug up the grass in that area where we want the pea gravel to go. And I didn't finish that all on the first day because I didn't have Will's help. He was at work. So we're going to finish that here in just a second. This is day two. I'm pouring some quick setting cement cement <laughs> into these um, barrels. I got these barrels from, I think these are whiskey barrel planters. They're from Lowe's and I think they were like 30 bucks each. I believe they were $29.99. And so I'm pouring some quick setting cement in there and then um, Will's helping me get that all leveled up so that they'll stand up straight. And now we are going to finish up this digging. I did want to go ahead and say <laughs> Oliver crawled across the dirt a minute ago in just a diaper and I was wearing a sweatshirt and leggings and it was not cold outside. He um, actually, I took his shirt off because it was getting too hot outside. The mornings have started out really cold here, but then it gets super hot like in the 80s and I just didn't feel like changing my outfit. So I was super hot. He was probably feeling great. <laughs> um, these little pins I got from Lowe's. Also this um, I believe it's called lawn fabric. Um, I showed a picture of it, I believe. But anyways, you stick this lawn fabric in with the pins. This was super easy. I just used a hammer to kind of knock the pins in. I went around all of the edges. I just didn't want any grass to grow up on our pea gravel. So that's what I'm taking care of here. All of the lawn fabric goes down with the pins. And then we're also going to put in some um, liner. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but we could not find Adirondack chairs anywhere. Those are a hot commodity, and when summer is over, good luck to you, because we went to like every store. I looked online. They are nowhere, and it was too late to prime them, like Amazon Prime. So I was literally searching high and low, and I ended up finding two at Ace Hardware, and they were not put together. So poor Will had to put it together piece by piece, and they're untreated, so we're going to have to stain them, and we didn't do that in today's video, but we are going to do that. And now I'm putting this liner on. I called it liner. It's actually called edging. And this is the no dig one. So it's super easy to install. You just line it up where you want it and you tap in some spikes and it holds it down. So that's what we're doing right now. We're also going to be transferring pea gravel. I started it out here, but Will's actually going to finish it. We are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? While Will is finishing up with the pea gravel, I came over here to these planters and I went ahead and added some pea gravel and some potting soil. 
and I'm gonna add my mums. And then I also picked up some of those really tall, I don't know what you call them, but it's like a really tall grass. And I'm gonna add those to the center for some height. Outside, it really makes me wonder. If you are thinking about doing a project like this, the pea gravel is super affordable. And the way we found it was we just got online and looked in our area to see who sold it. And tons and tons of like um, plant stores sell it. And I had no idea. So what we did is we just drove up to a place called The Good Earth. And we paid and they threw it in the back of our truck. And that was that. We were done. So easy. And you really don't need that much to make it go a really long way. So we got a yard and we had a lot left over. I used some in the planters and we still had a ton left over. And you don't want it super thick because then when you're walking in it, it kind of feels like it's um, thick, like beach sand. It's hard to walk in. So you just want a thin layer of it. And now for the fun part, we're adding in all of the furniture. And I'm going to add one more plant back there in the left-hand corner for some height. I was also thinking at Christmas time, it would be so fun to add an outdoor Christmas tree out here and put some lights on it. But this tree, I'm going to show you what it is here in just a second. And I actually ran out of potting soil, so I had to go get some more, but you're not going to see that in today's video. It really makes me wonder. And that tree is a wax leaf ligustrum, I guess is what you call it. Um, all of the plants at Lowe's were 50% off, so I was going crazy. I bought a ton of mums. I bought a ton of that grass and then that little plant for the back. I also got some yellow mums for our porch area. And then these hooks I also picked up at Lowe's. Will's going to screw them into the top of these posts. And that is what we're going to hang our string lights from. If you know it's true, you know it's true. I've known from the start your state of the art from your vintage shoes to your cool tattoos but you're still yearning for us. This is something that I didn't know existed but it is a vinyl siding hook and so you literally just pop it into your siding and you can hang stuff from it. I wish they had gray so that it matched with the house a little better but it was okay. And then these are the string lights that we're using. We use these at our wedding reception. And like I said, we're going to try to find some with plastic bulbs so that they're a little bit more hardy for outdoors. But they're working just fine for now. The truth. Of course we're yearning for something. Yeah, we're still burning in wanting. When this battle is over. And when I'm very much old. Okay, we are in the final day of this project and I was really just kind of tidying up and getting our porch set. So I'm going to go ahead and take that bench back to the front porch where it used to be and I'm going to bring our front porch set back to the back porch. And this is mainly because Oliver's birthday party is next weekend and I want there to be plenty of places to sit back here. So that I'll bring in two more chairs and then the bench is just going to sit on the front porch now. I kind of liked that patio set on the back porch better anyways because I could come out here and drink my coffee. So that works out. I'm going to show y'all what the string light look like here in just a second we're gonna do like a little string light lighting and we're gonna start the fire and roast marshmallows so we are almost done don't have to try 
This project has been so much fun to complete and honestly shopping my own garage and just seeing what I have to put with it and make it even better was fun too. And sometimes you don't have to break the bank to get what you want. Actually, most of the time you don't have to break the bank to get what you want. You just have to do a little research and a little shopping around your house and you can really make some beautiful things happen. So this was so much fun to complete. I'll make sure to link all of the stuff that we found down in the description box below. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. Let me know if you have plans to try to do something like this in your yard or if you've recently done something like this in your yard um, Because I would love to hear all of the stories and I cannot wait to start our next project When the darkness is over And your heart's getting closer, closer to me Will you start to believe? Will you start to believe? All of this decorative stuff that I'm putting out I already had and a lot of y'all have already seen it before. We had our Halloween stuff out on the front porch so I pulled in all of our fall stuff from the garage and that's what I'm decorating the back porch with. And also that cord that you see hanging down is not going to stay like that. We have it tucked under the doormat and then there's a plug right behind that chair so that is hidden now. But I love the way that everything turned out. Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a dying ember Now for the fun part, s'mores. By the way, these flat marshmallows are the best for roasting s'mores. They fit perfectly on your graham cracker. And I know I'm gonna have some people talk about the fire and the siding and the flour being all close together, but we made sure to keep our fire really small. And if we ever do wanna do a bigger like bonfire type situation, we're obviously gonna take that fire pit out in the yard somewhere, but we're just gonna keep it really small for just me, Will, and Oliver tonight. And this was so much fun to sit around the fire eating s'mores and just enjoying all of our hard work. Uh-oh. 